My name is Peter Lam, and I'm the principal and CEO for the Masik Polytechnic. Well, the Masik Polytechnic is participating in the, in the National Skills Initiative largely because we have a long history in technical training and we are experienced in providing uh, technical training for both pre-employment students as well as uh, adult learners. So we are very happy to be participating in this program to find, uh, to uh, support the adult learners and the mis uh, displaced workers in terms of acquiring useful skill sets for the digital economy. So what we hope to see in potential applicants for this program is first, that the applicants are open to learning new skills, not just digital skills that many employers need, but also in soft skills as well, yeah, because that's one of the main purpose of this program, which is really to equip them with useful life skills that can help them in the workplace. So the second is to really to be willing to work hard because the set of life skills that they are acquiring and the set of digital skills that they are acquiring in particular uh, will need them to put in a lot of effort to, to acquire these skills. And the third one is really uh, for them to be forthcoming in terms of seeking help uh, if they have difficulties coping with the course or forthcoming in terms of learning help as well if they are confident in certain areas. What I'm most excited about is really partnering with very established and well-known partners like Microsoft and Generation. Uh, because with these partners, with their long experience in the field of technology, in the field of certification, as well as the, in the field of training, uh, will help us to be able to provide even greater value uh, to the adult learners. So for fresh graduates uh, to be aware of job opportunities, I think firstly is really uh, to approach the institution's education and career guidance counsellors. Uh, every institution now in Singapore has a career office uh, with well-staffed by education and career guidance counsellors who can actually provide them information on where to look for uh, information about opportunities in the industry, uh, particularly in the areas that they have been trained for. Uh, so that's one area. Of course, you know, students can also approach their own faculty members, their professors, their lecturers to find out information about uh, opportunities that exist in the industry. The next area is really about networking. And this is, you know, one purpose of this program where uh, built into this program is the ability for the students to network with uh, potential employers with uh, uh, needs and the demand for students with this kind of skill sets, the digital skill sets that can contribute to the companies. So for the big career individuals, I would like to encourage uh, all of you to seize upon this uh, training programs that are really set up uh, for the purpose of helping you to acquire new skill sets that are in demand by the companies. Um, these programs also provide uh, trainees with a stipend that can help them to tide over the, the period the duration of the course. And importantly, there's also the networking opportunities throughout the course that can allow you to connect with potential employers that can uh, assess whether you have a right fit for the companies to contribute uh, to the companies. So please be open and seize upon these opportunities that have been established for you. I think what is uh, important for the graduates to know is uh, is really to be uh, willing to learn, willing to work hard, and willing to uh, seek help, you know, if they uh, need certain assistance in keeping pace with the program. <music>